Now, that's a shorter one, but number three, let's talk about number three, templates. Either you can build your own template or you could buy templates. And honestly, buying a template for 200 bucks, 100, 200, 300 bucks is so helpful. I think the templates I have liked the most have been from Ghost Plugins. Those are great templates. They're beautiful. They're really easy to use. So shout out to them. They've, they've done a great job. I haven't tried many templates, but templates I've purchased have been from Ghost and they have been wonderful. At the same time with templates, you could build your own templates. Reason this could be important is you can start all your settings and all your pages the way you want. So that makes it really easy for you to get started. Squarespace has done a really good job with 7.1 of simplifying that part of the process. If you are a designer, you would have to go in on 7.0. I would have a design page that would have all these different elements on it. It would have heading one, heading two, heading three, body text, a link text, different image blocks. It would have the form because the form button had its own button. It'd have a small, medium and large button. And it would have all of that on an overlay because there were certain color styles for an overlay for all those items. And then it would have all those styles on just like a regular page. And then you would have to put a bunch of stuff in the footer as well, because those styles are a little bit different as well. And you'd have to have the main navigation set up with something in the primary nav and something in the secondary nav. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's great. Don't even worry about it. But if you do know what I'm talking about, you know how there are so many things you can customize, which is great. It gives you a lot of control. But as a designer, you don't want to have to sit there and change the font for 70 items and change the color for 70 items. You want to have something that's almost already pre-built, pre-structured for you in a very simple way to get started. Now, 7.1 does this really well. And so you only have to change one or two things to get everything structured the way you want. But with 7.0, Building out things like this, templates were so helpful. Even one template I used to have on 7.0, I'm reminiscing now. <laughs> so one template I used to have was like a blog setup with three or four sample posts. And what I would do is there's a Squarespace websites or Square website, something like this, .com or .org, where they have a plugin that you can download and it allows you to duplicate pages from one site to another. And so what I do is I'd have the design page, which we duplicate into a new site. I'd also have this blog set up that we duplicate into a new site. And when we duplicate everything into a new site, it was already created. So all I had to do was very quickly go in there and start setting up the design styles as I wanted. And part of that, let me go back to number two for a moment, getting websites up fast. What I would do, and some of you, if you're watching the video, you'll see this, but I have this thing called Time Timer. It was recommended in the book, Just Make Time by I think Justin Knapp and... Jason Knapp or something like this. There's two authors. It's a yellow cover. Make time. I think it's make time. That's the name of the book. Anyway, there's this thing called time timer and I just put it on my desk. It goes up to 120 minutes. It, it's a way to visualize time and you could do this on your phone, but I, I like having a, a separate visual where you just set it to a certain time and it shows like you could say it's like I have it set at like 60 minutes right now. And as I'm looking at it, it'll just start counting down 60 minutes. And at the end of 60 minutes, it will be. So anytime I did a task, example, like I'm going through the design process, I would time myself because it's so easy to get lost in perfectionism and spend three hours on designing the fonts where I haven't even created content for the website yet to see how it will look. And so I'm going, I may change my mind later on in the process. And this helps eliminate that wasted time where it forces you, it forces you to operate in a clear way. So with templates, I'd highly recommend, however you're building sites, if you're repeating the same starting process, build a template and Squarespace has made it easier. On your account page, I think it's like account.squarespace.com, you could easily duplicate a site. So if you create a sample, a template site that you love, you could easily just duplicate it. And the cool part of that as well is if you have certain code in the code injection and you have certain code in the CSS that's native to all your websites, well, you could have it built in there, which is awesome, which is awesome. And as you duplicate it, you don't have to do those processes again and again and again. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you're looking for a specific tutorial, please check out our channel. And if you can't find it, let us know in the comments below. What do you need help with to develop your site to make it effective and better for all your users? Finally, sign up for our newsletter. Our newsletter is a great 
way to stay up to date with anything happening on Squarespace, new features, new tutorials that we post, new features for SEO or updates on SEO, any of that stuff that will help you be more effective. Our newsletter is a great way to stay connected with that as updates come. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.